pam 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 hello hello can can anyone hear me hello hello is this is this is this on wait what's going on am i on the right channel Am I on the right website? <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm on YouTube. Mom, <laughs> Momo, get the camera. I'm on YouTube. Ah, hi Bobas, welcome. Um, well, <laughs> do I do my normal intro? How do I do this? <laughs> I'm so, uh, Hi, Bobas. Welcome to the very first YouTube stream of Mari Yume. Welcome to the Boba Shop. I hope you all get very comfy and enjoy your stay here with me. <laughs> Minasan, ganbari ne? Why don't we try our best today? It's so nice to see all of you. How are you all doing today on this wonderful Friday? If it is Friday for you right now, it could be. I don't know what time it is for you. I know a lot of you have been staying up so late for me and I really appreciate that a lot. Like, thank you so much for coming in for the the really late stream. <laughs> I'm super nervous right now, if you couldn't tell by my heavy breathing. I, there's a lot of new things that's happening today. It's a new day for some of you. Oh, okay, okay. Hey, I'm seeing lots of familiar faces. Yes, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> my mom told me how to get off. I'm so sorry. Go minute. Yay. I'm so glad to have you all here. I'm so glad to have you all here. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. Yes. Sorry, Ramen. Welcome, Hive and Hazy. Welcome. I see Twinkie. Welcome. It's nice to have you all here. Momo says hi, too, by the way. She borking right now. She's like, ah, 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 pay attention to me. It's my stream. It's Momo's stream. <laughs> ah, yeah. So, if all of you have been anticipating for this, you've all been asking me so many questions. Mari, how do I do the live 2D? Mari, how do I do the, the VTuber? How do, how do I, how do I become waifu? What waifu? How do I become anime? I get lots of questions about that all the time on my videos to the point where sometimes I, I, I can only copy and paste the same response so many times. So many times. So I thought, you know what? We're gonna have a stream, okay? No more, no more, okay, no more video games. All right, no more video games. Okay, no more video games. Today, we're gonna do YouTube. We are not playing Pokemons, even though I'm really excited to play Pokemon. I just want to play that so bad. No, no Pokemon today. No, we're doing live 2D stuff today. I'm going to teach you how to draw. And I'm going to teach you how to separate your layers. We're going to do VTube stuff today. We're doing VTuber stuff. And um, we are going to be doing this on my iPad. So a lot of new things are, uh, are happening today. Um, Nandake. I had to do stream really late today because I had uh, physical therapy. So instead of doing my stream, you know, two hours earlier like I normally do on Fridays, um, from now on, every Friday, I will have to stream on YouTube at 8 p.m. Um, PST. So every Friday, we, I will be doing a stream here on YouTube at this time. I, until I finish my physical therapy, it has to be at this time. And when I'm finally finished with physical therapy, which I don't know how long that's going to be. It could be a couple months. It could be a couple weeks. Um, then I can stream earlier on YouTube. But yes, that is one thing. The second thing is I have a new desk. So I'm not really well acquainted to this desk right now. It's really big. Like, it is huge. If I showed you my big black desk, you would be like, oh my gosh. That is one big desk. <laughs> but I am getting accustomed to that. I'm also getting accustomed to YouTube. I didn't really set this up properly. So things might be a little scuffed. But I got my iPad and... I still have all my art stuff, which let me start up my iPad. You can, um, we are not doing any 3D VTuber stuff. I'm not doing any Vroid. So this is a live 2D tutorial today. 
It's good to see you too, Crick. Welcome. <laughs> this is not a hamster. This is Momo. This is my corgi. This no, no. You need to see. This is my corgi. You need to respect my corgi. This is Momo. Okay, you will respect the jiggles. You will respect the Momo booty. Okay. All right. We're trying to work out some Momo merch. Uh, you know, everyone can get Momo plushies. I'm trying to work that out right now. I'm trying to find a distributor that will, you know, make my corgi butt. It'd be really nice. You're not a hamster, no. You're not a hamster, no. You stop that right now. You stop that right now. I bite you. I will bite you. I don't have the uh the the bit alerts. I don't have like uh any really head pats. There's no head pats on YouTube. I'm sorry. You can't give me any head pats. But it's okay. We're not here for head pats. We're here to learn live 2D stuff. You all want to know how to draw a VTuber, right? You want to be anime, right? You want to be waifu, right? You want to be like me, right? Ooh, ooh, ooh. I want to be like mm -hmm. You ever seen that? I want to walk like you. Talk like you. You never seen The Jungle Book? It's a really good movie. If you've never seen it, you should watch it. It's a good movie. It's a good movie. Hip <laughs> for Momo. Sorry, I'm trying to like... I have ADHD, so keeping up a chat is a little hard. <laughs> oh, I um, I am smooth brain, so I didn't know YouTube started doing these um, memberships where you can get emotes now in my you can get emotes in my stream. Like it's like what? And you can get sub badges, and I'm just like, oh, I gotta submit that. And I did, and then YouTube's like, well, you need to wait 24 hours because you are a smelly baka. And I said, oh. I didn't realize, so um, I'm sorry if you can't actually join the membership. I don't know if that's showing up on my stream, but if it's not, um, it's because I got to wait 24 hours. So I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry if you can't. Let me see. Let me see here. If Let me make sure my iPad is looking okay so I can switch over. A lot of you are probably thinking, Mari, what the? Answer my question, Mari. How can I be anime? And I'm like, whoa. Slow. We're gonna be slow. Relax, relax. Relax, stay good aside. Relax. <laughs> you can be an anime waifu, but you have a couple different options. And we're not gonna focus on 3D. We will do a stream on 3D uh, VTuber stuff for free. I will do that another stream. But today we're gonna show you, we're gonna do live 2D. We're gonna do art for it. So I'm going to be showing all of you my model. Yes, like the model you see right here, I'm gonna show you like up and close and personal. Like you're gonna see everything. And I mean every little thing about Mari Yume. We're gonna analyze my body and I'm gonna show you through my body and how it's separated. And then we might even do a little bit of drawing too. Like I, um, I'll actually do some drawing. I'll try my best. I'm not, I'm not a really, like, I'm not a perfect artist, but I'll try my best to draw. But I, I want to show you today how my model is separated and layered and sectioned. And then I will actually try to draw a VTuber. Like, we'll come up with the concept of a character. And um, I'll try my best to draw. I'm not that good of an artist, so you can bully me all you want on my art. But I'm going to show you, like, what a professional PSD layered sectioned model should look like. I'm gonna show you how it should be done and then we're gonna do it really scuffed and not properly done. Okay? Okay? I'm not doing any commissions right now, unfortunately. So I'm sorry. I'm really sorry that I won't be, uh, I won't be doing any of that stuff. But, but, yeah, Momo will, Momo will bark a lot. Momo will bark a lot. <laughs> um, I will show you how my model is separated. And then we'll try drawing just a little bit. So, first things first, let's go over some art programs. What do you need to draw a VTuber model? Well, okay. There's several different art programs you can use, and some of them don't cost any money. Any money. You just need a either a phone, either a drawing tablet, an iPad, 
or like a, a Samsung tablet. You can use like a Samsung tablet. Anything that you can do to draw that's not pencil and paper. It has to be digital. You just need to do that. You can't buy Momo. Well, not yet. You will be soon. Eh, when I try, when I try. You can use Ibis Paint. Yes, you can. So what do you need the model file to be in order to use it in Live 2D Cubism? You need the model art to be in PSD. It's a Photoshop type, it's a Photoshop document. And numerous art programs allow you to export your art in PSD. Let me see, uh, all you have to do is, uh, let's see, Google. Google, let me Google that for you. What a program exports in PSD. D. Okay, so we have, we have Clip Studio Paint. We have Photoshop. We have, um, does, does Ibis Paint actually? Does Ibis, hold on, Ibis, am I, am I saying it right? Ibis, Ibis, Ibis? Oh, I love hibiscus. Oh, that's what I'm drinking for bubble tea today. Open your Ibis Paint data and Clip Studio Paint. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so you can use Ibis Paint. Uh, you can also use, um, I think you can use Med, Medibang, Medibang Paints. And you can use, Nandake, you can use Kira? Is, is that the other one? So it's called Kira, Kira? As long as your art program can export your art in PSD, you can use it for Live 2D Cubism. That is the only file type that Live 2D Cubism will take as long as it's in PSD. What if you can't download anything? Well, I, I think there are some free art programs that you can use. Isn't, um, isn't Ibis Paint free? I think it is. I think it is, or Kira? I believe, I believe there are free art programs. You can also do a trial for um, paint, paint Tool Sai. Bye Neko, thanks so much for tuning in. Okay, so if Ibis is free, you could use Procreate. Now, the only thing about some of these programs is that you need to, mm, so Procreate, I know this because I've used Procreate in the past. There is a layer limit to how many layers you can have in a single file. So make sure you see how many layers you can have in that art program because um, depending on what the layer limit is, you might be limited in how complex your model can be. I use Clip Studio Paint. I um, really enjoy Clip Studio Paint because it's a little bit more fluid to me than, it's like Clip Studio Paint is like Procreate and Photoshop having like this makeout session. It's like all like hot and steamy. And then, and then somehow they had a baby and it was Clip Studio Paint. That's, that was how Clip Studio Paint was born. So that's why I use it. It's really good. It's like a nice mixture between the two of them. I love them. And you can do a free trial for it. I'm not sponsored, by the way. <laughs> I'm not sponsored. So me being like, hey, you can sign up for a free trial. I'm not sponsored. But you can get a free trial for Clip Studio Paint if you want to give it a try. And I really recommend you doing that. I really recommend that. Um, hi, I don't have my commissions open. So um, at the moment, I won't be taking any character sheets or anything like that right now. Welcome, welcome. You can use Realty. That's for um 3D, yes. You can use that for a 3D model. Yes, that yeah, that is good for, um, I haven't tried Realty yet. I've heard good things about it. I wanna make a video on it actually. It seems like a really cool art program. Not art program, <laughs> model, modeling creation. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Let me make sure that my Clip Studio Paint looks okay right now. Choto mate. Um, you would want to, hmm, I've actually never used Ibis Paint, but, um, I would imagine you'd want it to be preserved layers because if you flatten it, you don't want to merge everything. You want everything to be separated, which I will show you what that looks like in just one moment. I'm just, uh, checking to make sure. Okay, cool. So you can, you can see it. Okay, cool. Okay. I just wanted to make sure it looked... It, it was there. <laughs> oh, let's see. Okay, all right. 
I'm very nervous. I'm very nervous. <sighs> How's the boba? Oh my gosh, I'm having hibiscus tea. It's so good. It's so, 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 so good. I know, Momo. You're mad. You're always mad at me. I'm sorry, Momo. I'll cuddle you later. You slept in my bed last night. Stop complaining. Most people don't get to do that. <laughs> okay, so. Let me show you. Let me show you what my stuff looks like. Okay. She's just mad. She's just angry. She's just angry. She's just angry. My dog can't really see anything on the screen. She's just she just sees me yelling. <laughs> we know. Hey, 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 hey. No one's in the basement, okay? There's nobody in the basement. All right? There's nothing to worry about here, okay? We I am the Mariume. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm trying to read chat. It's not like I purposely ignore you. I just have ADHD. That's all. We might get a lot of this. Okay, I'm using my iPad. Okay, I'm not. I don't have money to to use a tablet like you fancy people out there. Okay, I'm I'm using my iPad. My iPad. Which I actually don't know why it's um why it's doing that. Oh, we get lots of technical difficulties all the time. It could be because I have the wire um connected. Hold on one moment. Let me Chata Mate Mina, enjoy some uh, BRB commercials real quick while I fix this. You know, you might be asking, Mari, why do you have cat ears? Well, the better question is, why did you dream of me with cat ears? Like I said earlier, I got really tired of every single time we would hang out and have fun, you'd all leave me. And I really, really don't want you to leave me ever again. Yes, yeah, so who am I? Mari Yume. Oh! Ah, what the? Okay, oh, well, oh, geez, okay. Okay, okay, I think it's working now. I think it's working. <laughs> okay, all right, all right, okay. I had a wire pinching. I had a wire pinching. You cannot get Live 2D Cubism on iPad. No, it is for computer only, but Live 2D Cubism also has a free trial. So think of it this way. If you have, if you have, um, can you get Clip Studio Paint on your phone, Kana? I wonder, actually, that's a good question. Mm, you could try. You could most certainly try if it works on your phone. Why not? You could just do that. But, you know, say like you have your phone, you're using Ibis Paint, you finished everything, where can you export it? Well, if you're using Android, you could get Google Drive, get Dropbox. Um, I like Google, uh, I like Google Drive personally. That's what I use all the time. Or, uh, well, yeah, that and I use obviously iCloud because iPad, um, but yeah, you could just transfer it that way and put it on your computer. And Live 2D Cubism, you don't have to have a top of the end of the line computer to run Live 2D Cubism. Um, depending on how much time I have today, no, I won't be able to show you actual cubism today. I'm gonna just, we're just going over the art and the layering and separations, which I'm sure you're all wondering, Mari, what the heck is on your face? What, what did you do to her? Oh my gosh, what is that? What is wrong with her face? She has a tooth! There's a tooth. There's a tooth. There's a tooth. There's a tooth. I too make demonic noises. They're just very, they mostly come from my stomach though. Make gurgling sounds. <laughs> uh. Uh. Let me see here. Okay, let me see. This is not a beard. I will go over what this is. So you're probably seeing over here. There's, um, let me see. Actually, it might be better. It might be better if I show you it like this. What did I, why don't I show it to you like this? Okay, so it might be a little bit better if I show it to you like this, right here, okay? There you go. I, Cause then what's important is I show you the layers. This is what's, this is what's important right now. So over here on the top right that you see, if I, you see parts. So, <sighs> If you want to make a Live 2D model, you are going to have to draw everything separated in different layers. Now, 
It depends if you're going to do a bust size, a half body or a full body. My model's a full body. Like, look, the full body is right there. Like, there's sockies right there. Sockies and band-aids. So, because it's a full body model, there's going to be a lot of layers. So, if you just want to start out with VTubing, I recommend drawing a bust size model. You know, nothing, uh, nothing too complex or anything like that. And you won't have to have as many layers. So, when it comes to separating the layers for this, as you can see, I labeled all of the folders like we have eyebrows. We have my hair band. We have my hair. Now, the hair part is just the front, and it also includes my ears. Okay, iPad. <laughs> iPad, you're really gonna be like this today? Come on, Apple. Come on, Apple, I spend all this money. It might just, you know what? You know what? You know what? It's okay. I'm not offended. I'm not upset. I'm not upset. I should, I should honestly expect this. Why don't I just unplug and replug? Will it turn back on? Nani? Nani? Okay. Okay. Was getting into the good stuff. I'm, s I'm really sorry about the technical difficulties. I don't have um, the perfect cable to uh, work with this because I don't have a, a Mac book or anything like that. I'm using a Windows PC. And we all know, like, it's not always the most compatible. You can use Photoshop. I mean, it depends. Uh, Photoshop on the iPad, I think, is not that good, in my opinion. I like Photoshop on the computer. And you can get a tablet. You can get a drawing tablet for $20 um, new. So you could probably get it even cheaper used if you go on eBay or something, you know? No, Momo's pretty light. Um, she doesn't, she's not heavy to me at all. Let me see if it if it started up again. Okay, yeah, it did. Okay, C cool. Okay, so so when you are looking at all of these different layers, let me um go to the face layer here and get rid of the mask that you keep calling a beard. And then let me let's start going through these each one by one. So, when you're drawing everything, you don't need to separate the line arts, the shading, the color. You don't really need to do all of that. You can separate the line art from the face layer. If you want to, to create like a little bit of a 3D effect, but that's not necessary. If you have a lot of mm, limitations, Oh, I see what's going on now. Oh, I, oh my gosh. Okay, one moment. I see what's going on now. It's the back of my computer. One moment. I, I show you that, right? Okay, it, it is time. I show you my full body. Okay, left hand reveal. All right, everybody. This is my full body, okay? I have sockies. I have band-aids. I, I, got, I got a hairband. I have a, I have a corgi plush. I can do little steps. Look, look at me and go. Look at me, look at me. Yeah, look, look. Whose child is this? Wait, what? I'm not a, I am not a child. Mmm, I am not a child. You stop that right now. <laughs> ah, what the heck? Why you gonna get this fist? You want these fists? Huh, you want some of this? I'll give you some of this. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my God, my eye. Your, your thumb is in my eye. <laughs> With every bonk comes a head pat. I bite your thumb. I didn't. I didn't bite anything. Hey, I mean you came. That's what counts, right? Hi, I'm Mariyume, and this is my boba shop. I stream here with my dog Momo, my cat Hopper. Every stream here is unusual and kind of weird. One thing I learned after becoming a VTuber is the best things in life are unseen. That's why we close our eyes when we kiss, cry, and dream. Hey, 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 Bobos, it's me. Uh, I, I don't know where I am. Um, I'm in some dark, scary room. I don't know how I got here, but don't let her find me. I told you, it's my time to shine. 
Okay, so... I... I don't know what's going on with my iPad. So I said, screw it! We're just gonna use Photoshop to do this demonstration. We're just gonna use Photoshop on my computer. Screw it, okay? I'm sorry my iPad is being uncooperative. Um, like I said, I just got a brand new desk and everything's not set up properly as well as my computer. So we are going to be using Photoshop to demonstrate this and not uh, on my computer, not Clip Studio. <laughs> what? What's going on? What'd you see? Did you, did you see something interesting in the BRB screen? Whatever could you be talking about, Bulbas? What is this pink-haired Mari that you keep referring to? I do not have pink hair. Look at my hair. Does this look like pink hair to you? This is not pink hair. It is not pink hair. Okay, I have... Actually, um... I don't really know what color my hair is. I don't know if it's actually blue or if it's like a gray. I just... Wait, well, hold on. Let's, uh, let's zoom in. Hold on. Let's, let's zoom in. Wait, that's not where I wanted to zoom. Okay. Oh my god, I'm touching my own stomach. Uh, oh, but wholesomely. Okay, okay. I think I have gray hair. I think this is considered gray, don't you think? Don't you think? I don't know. I think it's like gray hair, right? I think so. I think so, I think so. Well, like I said, hi, if I try to answer what I can, what happened to Pink Mar- <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's not important. It's not important. It's like white hair, like white gray. It's whatever my mama gave me, okay? I got it from my mama. I got it from my mama. I got it, got it, got it from my mama. Honestly, the- like I said. Depends on what your question is, Renny. Ha- I answered it for ya- <laughs> So I am going to go over this again, like I said, actually, hold on, it is better for all of you if I am on the other side because um, you probably want to like see this a little bit better, alright, so maybe I should just move my fat, <laughs> my fat booty over here, okay. It's okay if you're late. Welcome, welcome. We're just going over the layer parts. I'm sorry, it looks like I won't be able to actually draw because I don't know what's going on with my iPad, but at least I can go over the art of my PSD over what needs to be separated. And um, I can actually do like drawing uh, when I can figure out what is going on. <laughs> when I can figure out what is going on. I don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> All right, so. Let's go over these these little layers here that you're all wondering. You're probably like, okay, well, what? How do I do this? How do I, how do I do this, Mari? How do I do this? First things first. <clears throat> you can draw everything as it is, like if you're just starting off. Because I'll be honest with you, when I started drawing my own live 2D model, not this model, I did a, an art commission back then. I was getting really stressed out trying to draw everything already separated. I recommend you draw the entire thing first, like a sketch, so to say. Like you, you draw out the entire sketch, like you're not going to fully render and color it. You're going to draw out the full sketch and maybe do some solid colors. Then after you can just slice things up with the lasso tool and just kind of um, do the cut option that they have here. So. Um, if you're not smooth-brained like me, and you can actually draw everything separated one by one, then omedeto, you're amazing. You're amazing. But in terms of separation, I think how you should separate everything is you need to separate stuff based off of what you need to separate stuff based off of how it's going to move. So, for example, if I really, really wanted to. I could separate the entire head part and then the body and have those being separate folders. You don't really need to. It's more like an OCD thing if you want to have things better organized. But you can typically do it like this where you just have one folder for the eyebrows. And if you look, I have the eyebrows individually separated. I have my left eyebrow and then my right eyebrow. And now you're probably thinking, Mari, that's not the left. That's the right, Baka. And that's because 
when you're doing rigging in Live 2D Cubism, you have to imagine looking at the model, what her left or his left or their left is. So the model's left is in fact right here. And I know that can get a little confusing for people sometimes, but general rule of thumb, this whole side is gonna be the left side and this whole side is going to be the right side. So try to keep things separated like that. And when you are drawing stuff, obviously things that have pairs like this, you'll want to keep them in separate layers too. That's why I have the eyebrows separated on different layers and it's in its own folder. Then I have my entire headband like this. And I am, so I did not draw my model. Moiko Peach. No, Moiko Peach? Well, I'm obsessed with peaches, clearly. I'm obsessed with Momo. <laughs> uh. It is recommended to keep the drawing symmetrical, but you don't have to. The Live 2D commissions that I have done were not symmetrical, and I have done some rigging on some asymmetrical artwork, but I am... Um... You'll have an easier time doing the rig if it is symmetrical. But Moiko! Moiko is the one who did my model. I have her credits in my bio. If you want to see how she separated the headband, I requested this though. I requested her to separate things in a particular way because I'm the one that did the rig. So we have the left hairband strand like that. We have the right one like that, which these are these are actually supposed to be labeled be, these are supposed to be labeled opposite i must have had a brain fart but yeah this should be the right one and then this is the actual bow piece which once again it's supposed to be the other way <laughs> the other way the other way and then we have the middle piece so i completely separate all those because when i was in live 2d I made each little part move and stuff. Oh my gosh, TV and Ta Tanuki, that's really kind of you. Holy cow. Thank you so much for the $10 donation. I appreciate Oh, wait, wait. It's not called that, isn't it? Is it called Super Chat? Is that what this is? Is that what I'm seeing? <laughs> my eyes. Computer art hurts my... I'm so sorry. I... Hey... There'll be a highlighted version of this to help you out later. I appreciate you so much, though. Thank you so much for the hat. Thank you. <laughs> but I appreciate it. Yeah, it's totally okay, Win. Like, if you need to go lay down and stuff, um, it's totally fine. Oh, by the way. Have a good night. Um, Divi, and I appreciate that. Thank you. I know! First super chat hype! Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> I don't have membership right now because the, I didn't do it sooner. I should have done it. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, okay. So. This is Photoshop. So your artwork has to be in PSD. No matter what, it will get open with Photoshop. This is, um, so I have the Adobe cloud service. Um, you know, high, uh, not high school. I'm not in high school. Um, college discount. So it makes it makes the Adobe Cloud apps cheap for me because I use Adobe Premiere Pro to edit my videos. Then I was like, oh, I might as well get Photoshop. I need to use Photoshop more, honestly. I really should. But I love Clip Studio Paint more. Uh, I don't know. You know, it's hard. Why do I have a... Oh, I'll get to that. I'll get to that. I'll get to the green beard in a moment. Okay. We've talked about how my headband's separated now. This is for if you have accessories, like earrings, if you have a hat. And if you have a hat, I would recommend you separate the front part of the hat and the back part of the hat. And you want to make sure it's whole. I'll show you what that looks like in a second with my hair. Which we're at my hair now. So this folder here is my hair. <clears throat> but if you noticed, it's not my twin tails. It's just the, the front part of my bangs, the side parts. And it has my ears and my ear accessories. So if I open it up more, you see it's expanded even more. It's even more. And Moeko is so amazing. She not only separated my side hairs, my bangs, 
my ears, and then the accessories, she also separated the hair highlight. And you don't have to do that. You like, that's not necessary when you're drawing your model. You don't have to separate the highlight, but if you do, you will literally have more freedom when you're doing the rig to do hair light reflections. And it's really cool. Oh my goodness, Joanne. Thank you so, so much. I appreciate that a lot. Thank you so much for the $5 super chat. That's very kind of you. That's really kind of you, thank you. Yes, I can answer you. There you go, princess. <laughs> I appreciate that, thank you. Um, yeah, you can make this more simplified. I'm gonna turn off all my layers and show you the simplification for this to answer your question, Joanne. Um, I know my model is a little complex, but that's because I specifically requested that. You don't need to have this many layers. I'll show you what, what we're gonna do after to show you a more simplified version. This is for the people who are a little bit more aware of drawing and are like, okay, how much separation can I get? And oh baby, oh bobas, you can get so separated. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> um, like for example, this is all sectioned in the hair folder. But if you look here at my bangs, my bangs are separated. I have the middle here, I have the right, and I have the left. So you can literally separate it as much as you want. But if you notice, the line art and the shading are still attached to the same layer. So you do not need to separate this shading and the line art. Don't do that. Don't, don't do that, okay? Don't do that. And you don't even have to separate the bangs like this. You could keep this all one layer. Like the bangs here could just be one layer. So, and the same with the side hairs. You do want to separate the side hairs from left and right though, if you have um, side hair like this, because I think it's important to, um, when you're rigging it, it has certain movements that you want to keep in mind, you know? And my ears. Now, I don't have human ears. I have um, Nandake. Nandake. I have, um, ba 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 ba. Do I need a camera? A camera for what? Wait, what happened? I'm so confused what happened. <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> there's tons of practice models for Live 2D, actually. Yeah, there's like a ton of free ones. Um, I think for this video, when I'm done streaming, I will link a whole bunch of free models if you want to take a look, because there's a couple that I, I have from the Live 2D community, and it's really awesome. Now, the way my ears are separated, which, why don't I hide everything? Why don't I hide everything so you can just see my ears? Oh my gosh, there's just a head. There's just a head. There's just a head. And the highlight. So let's go to my ears. Yeah, Momo, Momo barks a lot. Do you need a camera? No, no. So, no, you don't need a camera. I don't understand your question. I I don't I don't understand what you mean by camera. Um, but in terms of drawing, no, you don't you don't need anything like that. The ears though? If you have just human ears, they're just one layer. Like it's just the ears and you just separate from left and right. But when you have like cat ears or Mm, I don't know, bunny ears, I think, or like antlers, they, bear ears. Mm, I feel like cat ears and maybe dog ears are the ones that need to get separated the most. Because it depends if they have fluff or not. Like, I have the front part and I have the back parts and I have the actual star piece. And if you look, the shadows, so the shade, that's one layer. So the back part here, if you look, um, see how the, the shading is already attached to that layer? Like, that's just one layer itself. How would you cut the layers? Well, on your art program, you should see this button that says new layer and, and you just make a new layer and draw on it. If you've already drawn the whole model, just take your lasso tool and select the part that you want to chop up and then just make a new layer with it. I don't remember how you do with Photoshop, but I know for Clip Studio Paint, you'll have an option that says cut from layer and it will just chop it and put it into a new layer. And you don't have to separate everything it depends on how much movement you want for it i want my ears to move separately from the rest of my body 
and same with the accessories like the accessories here i separated uh these more where each cotton ball moves and then this whole star piece itself is one layer there's free models that you can use to practice on so if you can't draw you can use practice models but Depending on the artist's TOS, you might not be able to stream with it. It could be just for learning practices. There, It really depends on the artist who made it, you know? That's the kind of stuff that I think uh, matters, you know? For the face tracking, mm, for 2D models, you're gonna need a camera of some sort. Like, you can get a webcam. I know VTube Studio and PRPR Live, they use webcams um, if you don't have, like, a phone for tracking. But... Technically, there is a way to mouse track on VTube Studio, and I'm trying to figure out how to do that. I know it inputs mouse register, uh, it registers a mouse, and I need to figure out how to do that because that would be kind of interesting because you can just plug in your microphone and have it just set to volume, and then your mouth would just move on its own. At least that's what I, at least that's what I think. At least that's, that's what I think. It just depends. It really depends. <laughs> Aku, thank you so much for the super chat as well. I appreciate that. What currency is that? That's so cool. What is it? Oh, I need to do conversions. That's so cool. That is really cool. That is really cool. But, thank you so much, Aku. I really appreciate that. Thank you. If you're trying to lasso tool on something, okay, for example, Okay, the bangs. And you you drew the whole thing. And you're like, all right, how do I do this lasso tool? Well, you have to very carefully do the lasso tool like this. Chop it up. And you will get a little bit of a weird line. Like, you'll get a little bit of whatever. But that's okay. Daijoubu desuka. Okay, daijoubs. You don't have to worry about this. You just redraw that part that ended up getting chopped off a little bit. So, if you can see here, my ears are actually, um... Nandake. My ears are, they go over a little more. Do you see that? How they go over more compared to where the accessory is? So if you were to chop off the ear right here because you didn't already draw it separated, like me, after you chop that part up, you'd have to obviously redraw that little line and then you should probably extend it more out like this because when you're rigging stuff, these things can appear and if you don't fill in that open gap, you might end up with some really weird open holes. So it's always good to just kind of fill it out just a little bit more than what gets covered. And it depends on what that is. Like the ear part, you would want to do that. If you already made your avatar as one layer, you can use that one layer as a reference. Yeah, you can use it as a reference and then try making the avatar with separate later. layers. Later? Later? <laughs> layers? Nani? Nani? <laughs> Roman, thank you so much for this. Thank you so much for... It, it is... I am saying it right. It is super chat. Is that what this is? Thank you so much. I really appreciate that a lot. That's a cute little... Oh, that is so cute. Like, I like that a lot. I love animals. They're so cute. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm, you don't really need wi-fi to draw i'd imagine like when it comes to drawing anani are you asking me like a stream question is that is that what you're is that not an art related question nani what it does look like momo it's so cute it's so cute i love it well i need to sip my drink before we continue I'm gonna merge a bunch of my layers, by the way, just so you all know. Like, I'm gonna make this, um, simplify. <laughs> because you really don't need to have it as complex as I do. I have a really complex model, and I'm aware I do. Let's talk about my face. Where the complexity goes. Like, what's up with my face? Oh my god, Bald Mari is kind of sexy, right? Canvas size does matter, actually, so... Your DPI does not matter. You can have 72 DPI. You don't need to have, if you're an artist, stop. Stop setting your DPI 
anywhere higher than 300, you only need your DPI to be set to, for 300 if you're going to be printing it for like distribution or something. But if you're going to be using it for digital art, you can literally leave it at the default of which is like 72 or 78 or something like that. So, yeah, I appreciate you stopping by. I definitely appreciate it. Yeah, I'll go over my expressions. I just think it's important we go over the face part first because you're going to notice here. Do you see how the shadow of my bangs goes outside of the face layer? That is because when you're rigging, your hair is going to be moving. So obviously, you're going to want the shadows to be matching the hair the hair movement and that's it's important to make it go out a little bit so you have a little leg room. A little wiggle room! Ami um, no! Thank you so much for the 10! The 10 no oh no! The super chat of the cute is are these corgis? Are these are you all doing little super chat thingies with corgis? Cause I freaking love that! <laughs> Thank you so much. I love that. I love that. It's super cool. Yuki, I thought the drawing was really nice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think thank you so much. I really appreciate everyone being so kind. I really appreciate it. I personally use VTube Studio. I think for the hair layer, you should have the shadow go out. But my neck layer, it does not go out for the shadows. The hair layer, yes. And you're probably thinking, Mari, what's up with your, your line art? Why is the line art separated? That is because if you open up the face layer... Let's take out the mask. Okay. And let's just not show my neck right now. I'm neckless. Wait, Nani. <laughs> we have our face color, which is the base. And then we have the hair shadow. Oh my God, that's cursed. Um, and then we have the face line. And if you notice, my nose is separated. You should definitely separate the nose because when you're turning, look at my face. Look at how my, you see how my face turns? My nose has an, an actual thingy. It's a Sheba. Ah! He gonna. I don't care. That I still think I. I like Shebas. I wanna. If I didn't have a corgi, I'd have a Sheba. That's like my second type of dog. But when you're turning your head, my nosey points out, and that's why you gotta separate the nose. But do you notice right here on the face color, you have my eye indents. Yeah, you can just include that in one layer. You don't need to. Do you notice how I have the shading, the line art in the face? You can include that too. Some people though separate the shade on around the face and the line art, but you don't need to do that. You could literally have this, okay, besides the nose, you could just have this as one layer, which you know what? Why don't I do that? Why don't I uh why don't I do that? How do I merge down in Photoshop? Oh yeah, merge down. Okay. See? You can have this all one layer. You don't need to separate this. Like this is this is the face. You would just call this the face. And that's good enough. That's all you have to do. That that's all you have to do. I'm sorry to hear about your kitty cat. That's very sad. Losing a, a family member is always really hard. I would know. I have I've had a similar situation a couple years ago. I've uh, my condolences. Um non non dead cat. You do want to separate the hair shadow and keep it like that. Like, this is fine. And you want the nose to be separated. Now, you're probably wondering, why do I have this green Grinch gremlin looking beard? That's because when the line out is separated from the face, I use this green to use it as a mask to hide my line art. So if you notice my face, look at, um, let me show you in the chatting. Look what my face does here. Do you see how when I use my jaw, do you see how parts of my face, the line art disappears? You see that? That's what that green thing is. Look at how big my neck is. Look, I did a bad rig. Look at my neck. My neck's not supposed to be that long, but look at the, look how the line art disappears. You see that? You see how my nose changes angles and stuff and how, you see what the shading is doing on my face? How it moves. This is why you separate the shade of the shadow layer of the bangs and what you do when you separate the line art you can make this disappear and have like this 3d effect but if you notice on my neck my neck shadow is not separated look there's a reason why i have a big neck okay it's to show you this this one specific tutorial you don't have to actually separate the neck shadow which mine is not separated 
But if you look at my choker, my choker is separated from the front and the back. So I hope that makes sense, by the way. Like if this isn't, if this is not making sense, please, please let me know. But that's why you separate that. That's why, that's why you separate that. Um, then, like I said, the choker, we have our front choker and then we have the back. Now the back, if you see this, it's only the ruffle part because as I'm doing the rig, it's really only that part that shows. But if more of the back part were to be shown as I turned, then you would want to draw pretty much the other half. Whatever you think is going to be shown as you turn and move your body, you're going to want to have to fill in that part. It's really important. In terms of like, if you look at my neck, do you see how my neck is extended a lot? Like, do you see, look how much my neck goes in. You want the neck, to, like I said, it goes back to the whole ear thing. You want it to go over here more so that way when you're doing the rig, you're not getting those weird gaps. You have wiggle room and that is important. You want to have wiggle room. I didn't know my, my, my videos were binge worthy. Honestly, I just kind of like, I don't even know. I just derp around being like, okay, let me, uh, I get asked a lot of questions about VTubing even before I started my YouTube channel. Um, cause I started VTubing last year and I was just thinking instead of copy and pasting the same answer, I should just make a video. It's just easier, you know? <laughs> Yeah, this stream's not gonna get- it's not gonna get deleted. Do I have a fan art? I do! Yeah, I do have one. I do. I have, um, it's on- it's over here, actually. Ta-da! It's, um, Nemui? Nemui Mari? Or Mari's Dreams, because I know not everyone can use Japanese. But yeah, 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 yeah. So all the shadows need to be layered or what? Mm. No, so it depends on what it is. You can separate the um, shadow layer for the neck. Like if I really wanted to, this this shadow here, I could have separated that. That could be separated if I want to. You'd have more control and you can do like more rigging. But I'm trying to keep this in mind. Not everyone is going to be paying for the pro of live 2D cubism. I'm going to be trying to do rigs with the free version. So the less layers that you're using, the better, because there is limits to the free version of Live 2D Cubism. But in terms of the merge, no, you would want to only have the bang shadow layer separated. Everything else in terms of shadows can stay on the same layer, just not the bang ones. Like the bang ones should be separated if you want to have more movement. You don't have to though. You could just merge it, but it might not look as nice. Oh my goodness, Roman. Thank you so much for the super chat again. Oh, that's so kind of you. Hello, Roman. I appreciate that. Hope I'm saying your name right, by the way. I really appreciate it a lot. It's very kind of you. It's very kind of you. My old model actually, um, my old model had the hair layer merge, like it actually wasn't separated, but you know something? If you look at my old videos with my pink haired model, it's not as nice. Like it's so much nicer to have the hair shadow, you know, separated, but yeah, I guess you really don't need to. You could just have it merged. It just might not look as nice, but honestly, no one really notices that. Everyone always told me my pink haired model looked really good. And I was like, really? I mean, okay, I'll just, I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. So, it's okay. It's okay. You could just merge it all. If you're, if you're really scared about layers, yeah, you can merge it. It's fine. Bye, Jobs. Bye, Jobs. So, we've explained what the mask does. We've explained how the face parts are all layered. So, why don't we talk about the expressions? <laughs> like that it looks like it looks like yeah it looks like it looks like ghastly the pokemon oh my god it literally looks like ghastly <laughs> Delicious. 
delicious. I mean, your name is delicious. I love mangoes. Thank you so much for the super chat as well. Yeah, I will highlight this too. This whole thing will be available, but I am going to do like a very short and sweet, delicious mango condensed version of this for people who are missing the stream. This is your perfect time to be asking me questions now because these questions will not be included in the highlight. I, I'm only going to be including what I, you know, want to do for the script. Um, but yeah, if I'm not answering your question that's related to art, then feel free to ask again. But if it's like, um, things that aren't related to art, I'm sorry if I miss it. I just want to focus on the art part because I don't have a lot of time tonight. So I can only go over so much with you. I will do another stream where you can ask me any technical questions. Like, I don't know, like what computer specs you need to have. Like whatever is the best monitor. Blah, 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 blah. Like I'll have a whole dedicated stream for that. Just today I want to focus on live 2D art because I know this is very highly requested um, for me to go over. I'm sorry, I don't speak Russian. Um, I think that's Russian. I don't, it might not be Russian. It's not English and it's not Japanese. So I can't speak it. <laughs> it's ghastly gone wrong. Let me bring back my my face layer so it's a little bit easier to go over the expressions because expressions are hard. I understand it's hard and I'm going to go over why it's hard. Let's open up the expression folder. Let's get rid of the expressions that I put here. Mm -mm. And I love Moeko. She did an amazing job with my eyes. Because not only did she draw my eyes open, she gave me a reference of what my eyes should look like when they're closed. I have never worked with an artist who has done that. The closed eyes here, this is just for reference. So when I put it into Live 2D, I know where my eye closed should be placed. That is insane. Like that, this literally made my brain explode. Like I grew a third brain cell when I saw this. And she didn't just do that for my eyes. She did it for my mouth too. Like she actually drew the open mouth and then drew a reference closed mouth. So if you're going to be learning rigging and you're just like, okay, I want to have like a little idea of where I should be putting the eyes and the mouth. You could totally make just a separate layer of these together of like the eyes closed and the mouth closed to give yourself some reference. I didn't know you could do that. If, if that helps you, Go for it. Like, it's really nice to have references like this. It's really nice to have references like this. But I'm going to remove the closed eyes because I need to show you the how this needs to be separated. Oh my goodness, Jonan again. Thank you so much. I, I'm so glad this is helping. Like, how do you the exam, huh? I'm glad you think I'm cute. No, you're cute. No, you're cute. You better stop that right now. You better stop that right now. I'm going to come over there. I'm going to come over there and bite your lip. I'll do it. Let me take a muscle in my drink. Have a good night, Jack. It was good to see you. I didn't realize you were going to lurk. Wait, Jack, hold on. Hold on. How could I not? How could I not? Have you as my other mod. I didn't realize you were coming in tonight. I, if I had not, I real, I, I should have asked if you were coming in. <laughs> but you have a good night, Jack. Thank you so much for hanging out tonight. I really appreciate it. <laughs> you, this money is not going to me. This is all going to Momo. You don't understand. I bought Momo one of those Bork boxes. Boxes. Mari, come on. They don't need to hear your accent tonight. They're not here for the Boston. Stop it. Stop it. Um, I bought this like little Bark box for Momo. And it comes with like these little doggy toys and little doggy treats. And those mother truckers, they literally took, I, I bought six of them, okay? I did like six months in advance. And they're like, oh, we're sorry. We ran out of this thing here that you just had bought him, but we'll take your money anyways. And I was like, oh, but they're like, oh, don't, 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 don't be mad, Mari. Mari, don't be mad. And they gave me an upgrade. So I got an upgraded box for the same price as the normal one. And they're giving me a doggy camera. So now when I'm at work and I'm, and I'm sad because I can't see Momo, I have a dog camera. And they, they, just threw, they threw it in there for free. As, as complimentary for messing up my order. And now I get to talk to Momo on my phone and 
she's not gonna understand because her eyes go separate directions because her eyes aren't straight she's got one little brain cell but she'll hear my voice and it just makes me feel so good I... <laughs> yay thank you for subscribing I love Momo so much. So all the money's just going to her. It's just gonna go to supporting her and my cat hopper. I like, my animals are my life. You don't understand how, like I said, like I said, my condolences earlier, like animals are just as like family members. So they're literally my world. And I don't know what I would do without them. They're, they're like the sunshine that, you know, warms my skin, you know? Uh, character creation is really hard, Roman. Like, uh, it really depends on, you know, what persona do you want the character to have? In terms of, um, hold on, there's another question I wanted to answer. It was Scarlet's. What's your favorite programs or drawing live 2D models? Uh, Clip Studio Paint is my favorite. It's really, like, it's just a mixture of Procreate and Photoshop. I love it. Let me get rid of my eye expressions. You need to, because you need to see this. Okay. How do I have my eyes separated? You see the eyelash folder? Do you see how long? Oh wait, hold on. I should be in this one. Do you see how long the eyelash folder is? Look at this, look at this. Look at all that. I'm so sorry, but yes, you do need to separate it that much because, um, here, let me get rid of everything that's on one side and we'll go, we'll go. Oh my God, that's really cursed. It's so cursed! Oh my god. Oh, that's terrifying. I did not label these correctly. Oh, Mari, honey. Maui, honey, why'd you do this to me, Maui? Maui, why? Why'd you do this, Maui? You hate me. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You can use Abyss. Yeah, Abyss is fine. And there's a free trial of Eclipse Studio too. Oh, no, 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 no. Did I pay for my Oh, yeah, you better believe your- You better believe your sweet cherry booty I did. Oh, Moiko deserved all of the money for this. She made me beautiful. Look at me. Look how beautiful I am. I am beautiful. I am beautiful. You will say it. <laughs> no, she deserves every little penny. I, I worked so much overtime to save up money to commission her. She is, she was worth it. Like, I hope to one day be able to draw as good as her. I really hope I can. Um, In terms of how you separate the eyes, you need to separate, if you have eyelashes, they need to be separated, each eyelash. This is one layer. This eyelash is another. I even went so far to request this part to be separated and this part. Because when I was rigging it, I was having a really hard time making these not look weird. Because originally she kept these on the same layer as the main lash here. And I asked her to separate them. Um, so you do want this main part here without the little lashy lashes. That is one layer. And then the side part here is another layer. The eye white is one layer. So if I got rid of my eyeball, like just, you know... Let's get rid of, let's get, let's get rid of, yeah, you see that? This is one layer, the eye whites. And you can even go as far as to separate the eyeshadow, but why would you do that? You don't need to do that. You can keep this all one layer. It, it does not matter. It does not matter. Um, I'm in PST. I'm in the West Coast. You separate the eye color or shade. Well, Moeko did. So if you notice here on my eye, God, this looks really cursed. <laughs> I love being Frankenstein. Okay, um, you'll notice the white and then my eyeball. This is my eyeball. Okay, look at my eyeball. This is my eyeball. This part right here was actually separated and I merged it because I just don't feel it's necessary to have this, um, layer. Se um, separated. She also even separated the outer parts of my eyeball too. Like this was not, this was not mer this wasn't merged. This was like all separated and I just merged it all together. Cause for me personally, when I'm rigging it, I had a better time, um, having this all merged. So I completely merged this. That's, that was what I preferred. 
I suppose there is advantages to separate like all these parts, but personally, I'm lazy and I don't want to work that hard. But I did keep the pupil separated. There's the iris and the pupil. You see that? The pupil. And she even went so far as to separate the parts inside the pupil. Like Moeko is insane. I love her. I love her. I love my mama so much and I will protect her. So, yeah. You, you do not have to separate the pupil. I could have merged this if I wanted to. You could have, you could literally have this be the same. But the reason why I keep the pupil separate is because I do a 3D effect with my eyes. And I will show you how to do that in future um, streams. Let me take some of my drink. One moment. I am not a raccoon. My name is Mari Yume, not Mari the raccoon. My model, mm, let's see. I think my model was more simpler compared to my sibling. So my model costed me about $350. I did a hydrated. I did hydrate, I hydrated. Yeah, this cost me $350 um, for the art and it's all separated and everything too. Mm, she did an amazing job, worth every penny. Um, Let me slit hair. This part here, do you see how, um, what would you call this? It's called eye fold. You want that separated, like, um, because when you're closing the eyes, this is going to move down with the closed eyes. But yes, I hope this is making sense, by the way, on how the eye is cut up, because I know this is complicated, because we have the highlights here, too. And mm, the highlights are separated like this one highlight is one layer. And this one highlight is one layer. And remember, like I said, you have your left and you have your right. So you do have, you see how many layers this ends up being, which is why I don't recommend Procreate because of the layer limits. If you're going to be doing a full body model, if you're doing just like a bust up or a half body, you could probably still use Procreate. But this is what I meant by you need to be aware on the layer limitation because like just the eye alone has so many layers and you need the eye layer to be separated like this. You need it. Because when you're rigging and you're trying to close your eye, you need them to be separated like this. That doesn't include, well, I did the rigging. So the rigging cost me 0 99. It was free 99. <laughs> I think 350 is pretty reasonable actually. At least that's what I think. At least that's what I think. Wow, everyone has different usernames on YouTube. Why is the layer named O? Oh, you're talking about the eh layer. Oh, that's because that's an expression. So I've rigged my eyes. So when I do this, my pupils and everything disappear and you just see this eyeball instead. That's what, um, that's what that is. So it's just an extra eye. And then I put a kira, which is a star. So when I do this, my pupils get replaced with stars, you know? <laughs> Had many different names. You bought Boba. Ooh, really? What kind did you get? I'm curious. Yeah, I love Boba. I love Boba. But yeah, that, those were just expressions that I added because I don't know, I'm fancy. I wanted, I wanted expressions, you know? You don't have to have expressions. I can show you how to rig expressions without drawing stuff like this. Like if you want to be angry or sad or surprised or flustered, I can show you how to do that without having to draw extra things like this if you're worried about layers. But yeah, this is like really all you have to do in terms of the, um, actually let's keep these off for now. And then let's put my eyelash back. So like I said, you have your main eyelash here. And then you have, like I said, I separated those little eyelash bitties there. You have your side lash. And the reason why you need to separate the side lash from the main lash is because when you squish the eye, these get con contorted, distorted. It gets like uh, squished in a very interesting way that requires it to be separated. Okay, no worries. <laughs> no worries. Hey, if you got the drawing tablet, see, there you go. How should I price a YouTuber mod? Mm, well, that depends on how much time it takes, you know? Like, my live to decommission for a full body is just about the same as Moeko. I think I charged 
250 for mine. Yeah, I when I did it for um, Mr. Point. Um, yeah. And then it depends on your art style and how long it takes you. Like if you are a very popular artist and everyone is requesting you like all the time, up them prices, darling, because you're literally going to be swamped in work. You know, like you're just going to be swamped. You know, price what you feel comfortable with. Like if you want to just do like $100 for a bus size up model, then that's perfectly okay to charge that. You don't have to like go out of the way and like cheapen yourself or make yourself too over the top. Do what is comfortable for you. I like to charge based off of how many hours I know I'm going to be putting into it. I currently make, um, I make 17 an hour at my job. So I price my art commission based off of what I get currently paid at my office job. Because how I see it is I should not be making less than what I make at the office job. I should be making the same amount. Because if I'm putting 40 hours into an art piece, I should be getting paid the same amount that I get at my normal job. I think that's only fair, you know? That's how I personally price it, but every artist is different. And I am I only know one artist who actually charges by the hour. Most artists charge by the project, but um, I think... Um, I think Aerith is the one who recommends this artist. I can't remember her name. Is it Luna? Is that her name? She literally charges by the hour because that, I don't know. Is this just how she works? You know, every artist is different. Hi, Aizen. It's good to see you. Yeah, the two thing, the 2D ones, you do have to keep an eye. Get it? Keep an eye on what you, uh, you know, you do. Also, hey, Xandris. Welcome, welcome too. I, I'm re I'm trying to recognize all of your names. You you have your usernames different on YouTube, so I'm sorry if I don't recognize you right away. Moving on to the eyelashes. Like I said, all the eyelash parts are separated because when I close my eyes, my eyelashes jiggle and my eyeballs. Like, look at what my eyes do. I'm gonna zoom in again. Get ready, we're gonna get really close right now, Bobas. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Watch what happens when my eyes close. I'm gonna close them very slowly. Watch my eyes. Do you see what they do? You see how my eyelashes jiggle and how my eyes close? Do you see how the side eyelashes, how it literally flattens out? And how the eye folds go down as I close my eyes? This is why they need to be separated and why the eyelashes need to be separated. And why the highlights need to be separated. And when I move my eyeballs, you see how my eyes have like this 3D effect? That is achieved through rigging because I distort the pupils by separating those layers. That is why you separate them. You don't have to separate the pupils because you can still get a 3D effect without doing that, but the highlights need to be separated and they need to each be separated. So the two highlights on each eyeball need to be on their own layers. The eyelashes need to be separated with the main lash and the side lash, and then your other lashes, if you have them, as well as the eye fold. Does that make sense? I, I, I'm not used to teaching without a script. This is all free. This is all like free uh, teaching right now. I'm used to my scripts. So I'm sorry if it's like really confusing. I'll have a much sweet and condensed version on YouTube for all of you later. <laughs> you head pat me. <laughs> it took me one month to learn Live 2D and I'm literally smooth brained. I'm literally smooth brain and I managed to do this. This is what I managed. I, I know a lot of you weren't at my debut, so you don't know this, but look what I can do. It took me one month and I can do this. And I can, I can do this. You see what my knees are doing, my arms? Yeah. <laughs> I did this all myself. So if I can learn this in one month and I have ADHD, Okay, like, and you know what makes me upset about the whole ADHD thing? It seems like every VTuber has ADHD and I'm like, that's great and all, but why are they so much better functioning than I am? I'm so like tilted by it. Like I'm jealous of everyone who's so much more functioning. Like they're, like I watch everyone else and they play these video games and they're like, yeah, I'm getting it. I know what to do. Even if they're not good at it, they still know what to do. Like they read the directions and they're like, yeah, I understand what to do. I read the directions and I'm like, is this English? 
this is English, right? I literally have no idea what they're saying to me right now. And I have to like stare at it. Hope to God my dial up internet isn't acting up again. Wait for AOL to load. And then maybe, just maybe, I can process a thought to understand what the directions were. So yes, if I can learn Live 2D in one month, you will have no problem learning Live 2D. You're gonna like, zoom, zoom, zoom. You're gonna really, really, you're gonna really learn it like fast. Like I have full faith in you. I have full faith in you. <laughs> I do. I have all my links in my bio. It's just Mari Yume. You can find me on there, Mari Yume. I'd love to be friends. I have a Discord. If you um, if you have, if you have Discord, I have it on my in my description. You should be able to see it. Ah, I'm gonna teach you all how to do rigging. I just thought it's important for us to go over like the separations for this. Now, who wants to talk about the mouth? In terms of free stuff, I don't know. Not many artists like to do free things besides raffle giveaways. Oh. The, the other eyelash part, see the bottom part, the bottom eyelash, you do want to separate that too because when you close the eyes together like this, the bottom lashes come up too. So like this bottom part here, you want to have to separate it. And it's not just the line, you actually want to have skin. So let me remove my face to show you what I mean. Mm -hmm. Come on, where's my face? Okay, there we go. Do you see this? This part is the bottom lash. You see that? So you actually want to have a little bit of the skin because when the eye comes together, you want to have a little bit of the skin to be used as a mask. So bear that in mind, by the way. Bear that in mind. <laughs> what was the most difficult part of learning Live 2D? <sighs> this, like the... So when it comes to the art and when it comes to rigging, the layers, like... Um, it's organized. The, the real question, the real answer is organization. I struggled with organization. Like, um, I had to fix a lot of the folders that Moiko gave me because when she first gave me this, these folders were not organized the way I have them right now. Um, and that's not her fault. I'm very particular about how I have this organized. So I had to like read do all of that it's just organization of stuff the better organized you have everything the much easier and less confusing it will be <clears throat> like when it comes to deformer hierarchy and stuff and everything like that things like that you know really i'm so i'm so glad we're i literally am just going over just uh, artwork and like that makes me so happy to know this is this is entertaining i'm not i'm not gonna archive this this is gonna be up for everybody to watch and then um, I'm, I'll trim this down and do like a highlighted version too. So yeah. Aku, thank you once again for this super chat. Oh my gosh, you're gonna go to bed? Aku-chan, ayasuna You have a good night. I appreciate that a lot. Yes, thank you, thank you. It does depend on the layers. Um, You're welcome to ask questions on Discord, but I don't recommend DMing me. I work a lot, like, uh, you know, I had to stream late tonight. I'm literally staying up past my bedtime right now. It is 9 p.m. and it is my bedtime. And I'm staying up right now to teach you all of this because I don't know, I love I love streaming. I love live 2D. I love art and I love rigging. And I love spending time with all of you. And darn it, you all better be nice to me tomorrow when we play Pokemon because I literally am staring at my Nintendo Switch right now. Like I'm literally staring at it and I have Pokemon Pearl, and I am Diamond, I have it installed, I can't touch it right now because we're doing this instead. So be nice, okay, be nice. <sighs> Cause I can't play it yet. <laughs> Anyways, I wasn't crying just now, by the way, you were crying. So the next part, <clears throat> the, the mouth, we're gonna go over the mouth. So, Wait, where's the mouth? Oh, it's right here! I was like, where's my mouth? Oh, let's do the cheekies first. Hold on. The cheeks are so simple. Look, you got your, you got your, the left and the right. You just, you just have the blush. And you notice here, the blush goes outside. And that's okay. You don't, uh, um, don't worry about clipping. You don't need to clip anything in the art phase. Do not clip anything in the art phase. Don't worry about it. We're gonna do any clipping. 
in live 2D. Okay, so it's okay if the blush goes out a little bit because we're gonna clip it to the face in live 2D. You don't need to worry about it otherwise. And if you really want to, you can even separate the blush lines from the actual blush itself, but you, you don't need to do that. You really don't. You can even separate the nose layer more too. Like you could have the main line for the nose and then the shade and even the highlight if you want to. You could have that all separated, but I just told Moeko just to merge it. I just wanted one little nose. Like I'm not, I'm not trying to be fancy here. So you don't need to do that. Hey, loud noises, Cory. How you doing? Oh, Cory. Oh, shoot. I didn't know you were going to be in here. Oh, my goodness. Where are you? Where's your name? Where's your name? Cory, where'd you go? <laughs> Cory, where'd you go? Where'd you go? I miss you so. It seems like it's been forever. Oh, there you are. I see you. There you go. My other mod. Yeah, everyone who I keep modding, they're my mods on Twitch. So I didn't realize you were here. <laughs> Something that will go viral. I am viral. What do you mean? Have you not seen me? Have you not? <laughs> do you even know who I am? <laughs> I love it. Did I miss anything important? No, not at all. Honestly, I don't even know. I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> I don't like candy canes. I'm sorry. They're kind of blah, blah, blah. I don't like those. I don't have teeth, by the way. Look at me. I didn't. I so you notice in my art layer, I have teeth. I don't. I took away my teeth. I was like, the teeth are way too difficult to rig. I only have like one. I have one week left till debut, and I do not want to rig my teeth. So I got rid of my teeth. Like, um, baby, my. Uh, just look at my mouth. Look inside my mouth. Uh, can you hear that? My tongue. Uh, now look at my mouth. This is important, actually. Like, I'm not trolling right now you need to look inside my mouth do you see how my mouth has the dark and the light you can separate that my tongue and my throat you can separate those if you want to but i didn't because i'm lazy and i don't want to do extra work i'm lazy now in terms of like the actual mouth what needs to be separated the top lip and the bottom lip need to be separated and then the mouth otherwise known as the tongue the tongue part I, I have no idea if you can hear what I'm doing with my mouth, but it, it doesn't matter. You need the bottom lip separated and the top lip and the mouth and teeth. And if you are going to have teeth, you have to separate the top teeth and the bottom teeth. Does that make sense? I'll show you what that looks like. Oh my God. By the way, look at my bad rig job. Look at that. Look what my eyelash does. My eyelash comes off. <laughs> I find how broken my model is so amusing because I'm a noob, but you know what? You never notice that in my videos or my streams because I am, you, I don't point it out. But when I point it out, you can see it. And if you want to see what else is broken, watch this. You want to see how broken I am? I'll show you how broken I am. Ah, oh, look how normal. What a beautiful rig job I did. Oh my gosh, this is, this is, give me $300 to do this to your model. You know you want to, you want to look like this. Don't lie. You know you want to look like me. <laughs> Don't fret if it doesn't come out right the first time. I mean, I didn't come out right the first time. That's what my mom said at least. And that's okay. I Look how I turned out now. My mom always told me I was going to live in an anime. And you know what? She was kind of right. <laughs> it's broken, but you don't notice it if I... As long as I... You only notice it if I point it out. None of you would have noticed that if I didn't say anything. But do you see what I mean? Like, don't stress about... Don't stress about, you know, it not coming out perfectly. Because at the end of the day... You should be proud of yourself that you're drawing this or you're learning to rig. This is not an easy thing to do. It's very time consuming and it can be overwhelming. So don't like get upset if, you know, your drawing looks like a stick figure or, you know, your eyeball is slightly misaligned. It's okay. It's really okay. You know? Practice makes perfect. And we are going to re-rig my model because I do need to fix stuff. So that's the cheek. And like I said, I told you about the mouth. So you got your top lip. 
And you, it's not just the line, it's actually a little bit of the skin. And then you have the bottom lip, which is also the line art, and then a little bit of skin. Like, you want to have an, like, actual skin. So why don't I get rid of my, my face again? So you see that? How there's actual, like, skin there? You do want to have that. Um, Moiko did separate it, and, um, you don't need to. I honestly thought it was a little bit of annoying to have that separated. I would just keep the skin part of the bottom lip and like that. So you see how everything just kind of uh, goes on top of each other, right? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm making everyone fall asleep. It's part of my lore. It's part of my lore. All right, let me take a sip of my drink real quick. We're almost done, by the way. The most sep the most delicate procedure of this is making sure the head is separated correctly. When it comes to like the body and everything else, you can be super lazy about it. Just the face is what you see the most of and what you have the most expressions, which is why it's so important to separate as much of the face as possible. Nine nine Yuki, oh yes, me again. It's mega late for you. Mega late. It's like midnight. For some of you some of you it's like the next day but um yeah you do want to have those two separated in terms of like i said with the mouth the top teeth you know the bottom teeth and then the inner mouth and you could separate those but i didn't you don't have to it's not it's not necessary all right what is left now in terms of oh yeah so my expressions i put a disgust and then i put some sweat marks so there's like a little bit of sweat here and then another little sweat right there. I put a smug, which I'm, I mean, you've all seen this. You've all seen this. <laughs> but yeah, I do have those for expressions. So if I put all of this back. Let us go. To, don't I look really cute like this? You know, with no body, just. I mean, ignore that part, but just look how cute I look with the bow! It's so kawaii! Kawaii! <laughs> I love how cute it looks! It looks so cute! Ah! What's my favorite color? I always... Blue! Blue! You, you couldn't... you couldn't tell? You, could, you couldn't tell? Eh... Uh, eh... Uh. Let's see. Yeah, all of these are separated on their own layers, and like the ears are separated even more. And then the, of course, the eyebrows. Everything is always separated from left and right. Let's talk about my body. Let's talk about my body. We're gonna go to the body. We're gonna talk the body. This is Photoshop. So, my arm with Momo! Momo! We, Momo is separated very um, wholesomely. We have the top part. We, we, we have her butt. Her butt. We have her butt. And then we have the top part. And then it's just my arm. See, so you notice here, this isn't separated. It could if I wanted to. I could even separate my fingers if I wanted to. The more you separate, the more movement control you'll have. But I don't need that. Like, I don't I don't need my hand, my fingies, and, and, and this to be... I don't need that. I just needed these parts to be separated because when I'm moving, if you think logically, it would make sense that this part moves and then this part moves because of physics and gravity. That's why these are separated. Even when you're separating stuff, you need to think. If I were looking at a person and they're jumping or moving around due to physics and gravity, what would be moving? My arm would not be moving like a little bit of some jello on a plate, but Momo's butt would. So that's why it needs to be separated. Hope that makes I hope that makes sense. It's Momo. This is Momo. This is Momo. And let me see here. Okay, now my body. Let me move my arm. My body is separated pretty easy. You have my Let's remove my top. Perceive this wholesomely or else you will get in you will get the bonk you will get the bonk the bonk so this part here the collarbone the reason why 
the collarbone is separated from the neck is because when my head is moving, technically speaking, the collarbone does not move that much. So it wouldn't make sense if I'm turning and my collarbone is doing all sorts of weird things. That's why that's separated. And it goes with my top. My top is separated by quite a lot actually because of all the different parts. Like you have the ribbons, like the front ribbon here. And then you have the little ribbon pieces here because these would move physically in, ter you know, in terms of physics and gravity. It makes sense that these would be separated because those would move. In terms of, I love Moeko. I love that she named it Top. She could have named it anything else, but she is so wholesome and adorable. She named it Top. This is my Top, by the way. See you, Chan. Have a good night. Um, my, this is my Top. The Top itself, otherwise known as the bust, would be separated because, you know, in terms of physics and gravity, the bust is gonna like move it's gonna move and like blah, 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 and do things and stuff you know it's, it's gonna do stuff the frills would move separately too because i mean if you're going if you're doing boing 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 these would have its own little you know boing 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 boings and so won't the lace and stuff like the lace here and you have the lace separated as well because you know in terms of physics and gravity these would move in different directions, which is why they're separated, you know? At least, that's how I view it. So, you know. Alright, let me put this here. Uh, da, da, da. Yes, this will be, this will be on, um, after here. This will be on after here. So, don't worry, don't worry. Let me see. Bossy, have a good night. Let me see here. Uh, what was I thinking? That's how you know it's getting late when I start to... When I start to... <laughs> try to have to think. Try to have to think. I, I know, I'm just past my bedtime too. The straps are also separated. And this is just because this is my model design. Like, you're just, you're, the stuff that you're gonna separate is gonna be different. But you have to think again, the terms of the movement, which is why it needs to get separated, you know? I don't need sleep. Like, that's why my ribbons are separated like this too. And the straps are separated. Because, you know, obviously this strap is not gonna move a lot. Like, this strap wouldn't move so much, just like the collarbone. Now, the shoulder, do you see how my shoulder is separated? Because it's like a joint. Joints are separated, which is why you'll notice for my other arm, my other arm is separated a lot. Like you have the shoulder because that would move on its own. The actual hand moves on its own, the forearm, and then the upper arm, because when you're moving your arms, these would move in different direction, you know? So it makes a lot of sense that you'd want them separated. The bracelet, because it's being moved by my arm, would be separated too. Like I have the back bracelet and then the stars themselves are separated in the band because this arm would actually be moving a whole lot, which means in terms of physics and gravity, these individual pieces would be wiggling, they'd be moving up and down. You know, you have to think of how it moves in real time, you know? So that's how you would want to end up, like, think about the movement for everything. Now my belly. <laughs> Look at my tummy. Look at my tummy. It's a little tummy. I ain't got a knee, I ain't got an any belly button. This side, hmm. This, the stomach, the reason why it's separated is because technically you don't have to separate the stomach. She could have just um, kept the, the top and the stomach all one thing and then just separated the lace, the frills, and the um, bow. She could have just done that and that would have been fine. But because she did separate the belly from the top, I'm able to bend my body over when I tilt more. Like I have more control over that because it doesn't look distorted and weird. And it goes with the same thing with the shorts. You have the actual shorts parts when they're moving, 
But in terms of the frill and the bow, those would be moving separately too, which is why they are separated. You know? You know? This is my nighttime voice. Okay, don't make fun of me. I'm tired. I'm tired. <laughs> Thank you. This is our late night talk voice, okay? <clears throat> now, you're probably wondering why these are layered in the way that they are. Like, why is the strap back over here when the other strap is up here with the, the top part? Like, why is the, the strap backs down here? That's because when you're looking at this, if I were to move this up here with the, with the top, look what it does. Like, that doesn't look normal. That's not natural. My strap wouldn't look like that. But you see how it's completed? It's a complete strap. You need to do that if you're going to have something that's full like that in the back. And it needs to just be back, not visible, because that makes sense. You have to really, you have to look at anatomy and, you know, looking at lots of art references on Pinterest and how stuff's supposed to look will help you in the long run. You know? You know? I don't think I have a tomboy voice personally. I mean, it's definitely a little more richer right now just because it's nighttime. But you should have heard me earlier. <laughs> Now, let's talk about my legs. My legs. Yeah, my legs. The legs are pretty simple. Actually, no, they're not. So, you could separate this as just one whole leg. Like, you do not need to cut up the leg. Like, you could literally just keep it one whole leg. But, not my mama. My mama did, mm -mm, my mama did me good. She did me so good. Look at her. She gave me a whole thigh. And then a whole calf. And then my foot. She literally separated my little foot. She separated my foot from me and my calf. Like, that's insane. She's just so awesome. You know? I appreciate you all greeting and, like, you know, reiterating the rules and, and everything and trying to recap. I really appreciate that a lot, by the way. Thank you. I am noticing. I'm noticing you special bobas out there. I notice. Um... If you see how it's separated though, do you see how it, the leg part goes out? Remember what I said earlier, you need to draw a little bit out because if you're going to be rigging, you know, you're going to have holes. If I were to move my leg and bend my knee, get it, bend the knee, bend the knee, I would have a hole in my knee and that's not okay. So you have to draw a little bit of extra and it's okay if it overlaps. You just put, you just put it on top of each other. Dijobs, it's okay. It's okay. And the same with the footy. Look at the footy. See? The footy. The footy. The footy. Cully. The footy. Cully. The footy. Cully. You gotta like this. Yeah, look at that. That is a nice leg. Like, oh my gosh. She is so good at... You know, you know I'm thick when I don't have just thigh jiggles. I have... I have a little bit of this. You see that? We don't talk about this too much in uh, anime culture and in Japan, but... I know a lot of you are all about, you're all about the squish up here, okay? I know, you're all about the squish up here, but me, personally, I'm all about that squish right there. Right there. That's that squish. That's that squish. That's right. <laughs> Calf jiggles! <laughs> I wish my balls jiggled too, but I mean, I could ask her to separate that in the future. Wait. That's not what I meant by that. That's not what I meant. That's not what I meant. That's not what I meant by that. That's not what I meant by that. Does that apply to the eye? Yes. You do want to separate the eyelashes too for jiggles. Calf. So if they were separated, I could make them bounce and jiggle. 
but they're not so I can't do that but if I wanted to and maybe in the future I'll get them to jiggle and then you can all make the meme of yeah Mari's Mari's fuzzy balls jiggle there you go it's my pom poms <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Everything always comes out in, out of context, I swear. <laughs> I need some mud drink. <laughs> yeah, bye. Hi, I'm Mataku. Hey, yeah, yeah. Let me see. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, I remember now. Okay. We're on top of my tails now. Does this make sense though, Bobas? Is this all, like, is the separation of layers, is everything that I've been talking about so far, does that all make sense? And the only reason why my stuff is separated this much is because I wanted more control. You literally could just have the entire torso, like, ignore the arm. Okay. <clears throat> Ignore my legs. This could be one piece if you wanted it to. This literally could be one piece. The only thing is, if you have boobies, you would want to separate those if you have them. But if you don't, if you're flat as a pancake, which there's nothing wrong with that and it tastes delicious with syrup, or if you are a guy, or you know you don't have those you could just keep this all one layer and save yourself the trouble of all those layers like this could just be one entire layer and that's okay like that is totally acceptable so you don't have to have it separated as much as i did i specifically requested that though <laughs> you weren't expecting me to say that word now were you I think it's such a funny word. Like, you ever watch Drake and Josh when Megan's like, ya boob? And she calls them ya boob. And I think that's so funny. I, that's like the funniest insult you can call someone. I just think that's so funny. I don't know why that amuses me so much. I just think, I just think that word is just really funny. There's just not, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just, this is an educational stream, YouTube. Okay, don't demonetize me, please. This is an educational stream. <laughs>, laughs at the word boob <laughs> anyways like i said you could also have the whole leg itself be one layer too like you have your left and you have your right does that all make sense though i i hope i hope that is making sense and if you don't want to have much movement in your arms you could just have this be one whole layer but i mean that's kind of boring take the effort to separate the top part and the bottom part and the hand at least i think that makes it a little bit more dynamic That's just me personally. We're very much are in here, okay? My name is Mari. The Rock you may. I am 6'7 and Jack, and I will step on you. I'll make you feel like a bug. Okay, you better not you better not mess with me. You can call me Yume Chan. You can call me Marmar. -mar or Daddy. Daddy Yume is okay. Some of us in here are into that. Uh, I don't not me, but I mean some of you in here. Anyways, moving forward, let's talk about my tails. Not Tails Mile Prower either. Okay, we're not. Don't get me into the Sonic. Just, just stop. This is where I'll. People will leave my stream if I talk about Sonic. Um, I have bad obsessions. Why do I? Why do I live like this? Like I just. I need to really think about my life. Um, we're gonna talk about my tails now. So my tails. They. My hair is actually separated in a very interesting way. So, so, this isn't Photoshop, yeah, but, um, I was using Clip Studio Paint, but my iPad was being dumb, so we're just using Photoshop as an example for this. My actual hair itself is separated. Like, you see how the strands, oh, wait, you can't see that. You see how the strand is separated? When you're going to separate hair, that's not the front part here, like, ignore this. And if I were to have, like, straight hair or whatever... This part right here needs to be separated. And then this one here needs to be separated because when you're moving your hair, the strands are gonna move on their own due to gravity. So it makes sense that those would be separated, you know? So if I were to move those, that is the whole hair piece. And she did such an amazing job. When you have curly hair, you need to separate the curls. Like you see that? 
this curl needs to be separated because it moves differently. If you have straight hair, you do not need to separate that. Um, you could just keep it one solid thing like this, you know? You don't have to separate it. But if you have curls, you need to separate them. You need to separate the curls. And, um... Let's see, this is just the... the, 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 the. Did I not put these in the folder? Oh my god, Mari! 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 Put it in the... You really just... Oh my god, you're so embarrassing. This is why dad doesn't come home. Let's see. Okay. This is the, the, the right side. This is the left side. And yeah, it's the same thing over here. You see? Like, you just have them, you separate them like that. It's pretty simple, you know? It gets really simple. The last part is the, the back hair. Which, if you want to see what the back hair looks like... Uh, This is my back hair. You do want to have the back hair. You want to have the back hair because this is what's gonna make your model look three-dimensional. And when you turn your head, obviously you see parts of your back hair. Because I have twin tails, obviously my hair is, you know, it's it put up. But if I had long hair, then you would just have the long strands in the back instead. And you could even go as far as to separate the back scalp like this. Like it could be separated like this. And then the back hair parts. You know, like you could do that. Which I actually, um, I can show you what that looks like. Hold on. Let me show you my other model. The model that you all are familiar with. And you all know and love. The model that you all think disappeared for some reason and is just gone. Disappeared forever. Never to be seen again. That model. Yes, I think you all know what model I'm talking about. Let me let me get her. Let me get her out. Where is she? Let me get her out of the, the, the basement. Hold on. I'm gonna show you the other Mari. Oh shoot, I forgot. Oh my god. I forgot. So, original Mari. Pink haired Mari. I. Uh, how am I going to explain this? What you're about to see. How am I going to explain this? Um. Pink-haired Mari is so powerful. I had to hide her power because on Twitch, the way her design is, like her original design, is not really TOS ap appropriate. YouTube does not, um, it is appropriate. And I know this because I watch Yoshinoya's art. I love her, she's a great VTuber. And her model is quite pushing the line on TOS. But, um, what you're about to see, you're going to understand why I changed Mari, pink-haired Mari's design, because it's quite powerful. It's quite powerful. So prepare your eyeballs for original Mari's power. Bum -ba -dum. This is my old model. She is not separated nearly as much as my new model, which I will show you all. And yes, it is all in Japanese, but don't it does don't want don't worry about it. We'll go over the layers for it. There's a lot less layers if you can tell. Look at this. That's it. That that's all the layers. That is that is all the layers. It's a lot less layers. A lot less. Like I said, Pink Haired Mari is very gifted. Pink-haired Mari is, um, very powerful, and, um, yes, pink-haired Mari is very powerful. So. Can you tell I really like girls' stomachs? Like, that's it, been a common theme. Pink-haired Mari. In terms of the back hair, how does the, how does the back hair look? Let's see.
By the way, this model was not separated from left to right. Um, everything is was on the same layer. I had to separate the left and the right for this um, to rig her, just so you know. But this art is not separated left and right um, for some parts. So, yeah. And those of you who read Japanese are probably like, you know, you could probably read all this, so... Um, I'm just basically starting from, from the beginning. So we're actually going to start from the bottom. These are the backs of my skirts, which you would separate these left from right, by the way. Everything that's on one layer like this, it does need to be separated left from right. But do you see, like, that's the back of my skirt? And that's my tail? That is my whole leg. Remember how my other model has the, the thigh, the calf, and the foot separated? Like I said, you don't need to separate all of that. You can have just the one leg like this. You can have just the one leg. So. And it's not symmetrical. Remember how I said it makes it easier when it's symmetrical? This model is not symmetrical. This is, this is not symmetrical. It has to do with the movements and the gravity, like I said. Um, in terms of the back hair, if you have like fluffy hair and stuff. So, the bow, do you see how the bow pieces are separated? Like you have the frills and then you have the actual bow itself because in gravity, in terms of movement, those would be moving on their own. And then these are the tails and you would separate left from right. But this is the back of the hair. Do you see how, what I meant by you need to have the back of the hair be its own thing? If I wanted to, I could separate um, some of these strands if I wanted to have more of like a fluffy, flowy mo movement. And if I wanted to have a 3D effect, I would draw a back scalp. Like, this is, like, the whole piece, but I would separate this even more. Like, I'd have this part here, the hair, and then I would draw a circle back if I wanted to. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? And let's see. So we got my tails. And then you see how my hand is still separated? Because I the, the arm, though, do you see this? The whole arm? My new model has all like the top and the bottom separated, but you don't have to. Like you could just have the whole arm, but at least separate the hand. At least separate the hand, you know? Well, my model, Sarah, was um, 350. This was an adoptable I bought off of Nizima. Nizima is a wonderful place where you can buy live 2D models. You can buy art there. I bought the art to this. This was not rigged on Nizima. This was just the art. I she's an adoptable, and I spent three hundred on her. I am um, the reason why I commissioned someone is because this is an adoptable. I had no say over how she looked. Although my mom, the art mama, was very kind and she okayed me putting a shirt on her because I explained to her Twitch is very Twitch does not like underboob at all. They have something against it. It's it's like how dare you be a woman and have breasts. How dare you have chicken breasts on your chest? And how dare you, how dare they be slightly able to be seen? But yeah, so yeah, I, I asked, I, she only speaks Japanese, so I was communicating with her and I was asking her if I could, I could put the shirt on and she okayed it, which is why she, in my videos, pink haired Mari has a shirt. <laughs> um, so yeah, so that's all separated. And then this is my other hand and like the whole arm like that too. Are you taking note of the shading by the way? How how the shade is like all attached in the line art? Yeah, so totally acceptable. And remember what I said about the chest. You know how the new model, everything is separated, but you could keep this all one layer if you so desire. Or you could separate it and like I said, it depends on the movement for everything. These are the frills of the shirts. And this is because these would move differently due to gravity, you know, as well as the actual chest itself, you know, that those would be all separated. And then for some reason, she separated the shade of the, the, the booba, the, the booba, the booba shadow. There's booba shadow. There's booba shadow. Could you imagine if I kept this on Twitch? Could you imagine if I kept the booba 
shout out. That's a booba shout out. jokes. Went to some mud drink. One moment. I'm clearly thirsty. This is an educational stream. It's important. Now the skirt. Okay, remember how I said you need to fill things out? Otherwise you get this cut? Because this is not filled out, I have no hips. Because this is not filled out, when you are rigging, you can't move this too much. You can't. Because if you do, you're going to see the holes. You see, this is what I meant by you should really fill it out. Like, um, um, and this is no shade to my, my, my original mama. Is she technically my grandma at this point? Since this isn't, you know, she's not my art mom anymore. Probably. For future reference, if I were her. I would have already filled out the hips here. Like, I would have made this solid. I would not leave a gap like this because you get a much better rig if this is filled out. But because it's not, that's why my old model was so limited in the movement because this here, I could only move this just a little bit. Otherwise, you, you see the gap. That's what I meant by, um, you have to fill things out. That's what I meant by that. I, I really hoped that made sense when I was trying to explain it earlier about why you should draw a little bit extra when you're cutting this up because otherwise you're going to have this issue where you'll have these open gaps, you know? And if you're okay with that, then you're just not going to be able to do much movement with it. That's all, you know? She's my past life. She's like my stepmama, you know? Yeah, my hips don't lie. I got hips on this one now. Nya, 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 nya. <laughs> nya, 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 nya. Na 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 na. Well, Rosalie, you're already on a better start than me because you're already doing the cute face. What is this? I I don't remember. Oh, is this my neck? Is this my Kubi? Is this Kubi? Hold on, let me make sure. Is this Kubi? Okay, yeah, this is my neck. Okay. The neck is extended. In fact, she even extended it past the line art so that way when I was doing the shadows, I could have that. Oh yeah, here's my my bow. Yeah, um, this model actually has a scarf, the, the design. So here's another thing that I have a little bit of a gripe on about the art. Do you see the scarf? Do you see how the scarf cuts like that? It's so limited for the rig. It really limits the rig so much. Like you want this filled. Like, you would want the part right here, you would want these parts chopped up and have this just be one complete thing, like how my choker is on my new model. But because it's not, it limits the rig, it limits the movements of what I, how far I could turn my body without it looking weird. You know? Now, um, the front bangs are very interesting. Someone asked me earlier, do you have to have the side bangs separated? The answer is yes and no. Because my new model, it's separated from left to right. This one, it's one piece. And you can actually keep it in one piece like this. Like, this is actually fine. You're just going to be, again, limited in the control of movement. If I wanted more movement, I would just chop this in half and make this, um, you know, left and right. But you don't have to. You could keep this one movement and it would just um, have a little bit of a sway. So you don't have to, it's not necessary. I'm just a control freak, so, you know. And remember about the, 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 um, the hair shadow. See how I don't have like an actual hair shadow? It's already attached to the face layer, but it's like a gradient. So when you look at my actual, um, like when you see this part here, there's like a gradient. And then you just have this. This is my blush. 
Wait, I just clicked the same thing. This is the mouth, which the hair shadow is up top. It's over here. Yeah, it's this part. There's the gradient shadow, and then there's this shadow. And you technically don't need this. Like, I could just keep it like this if I wanted to. You don't need it. But it does make it look nicer. <sighs> At the moment, sorry. It's, like I said, it is way past my bedtime. Um, At the moment, I'm not doing any art commissions right now. Because I'm kind of behind on YouTube videos and um, I'm currently finishing a character sheet for somebody right now. So um, I work a full-time job, Bobas. Like I can't um, be a content creator full-time as much as I would like to. I can only do this part-time because I, I have bills I gotta pay. <laughs> so I have to work a full-time job. I work about... I work about 45 hours every week at my everyday job i get up at five in the morning and i work until 3 p.m every day so even on the weekend sometimes i have to work sometimes i don't get a day off and for like two weeks um with how much i have to work so uh it's really hard for me to take a lot of art commissions and to stream all the time so i, I and as well as upload on youtube i try my best but yeah i'm always working so my schedule is very tight very very tight uh, da, 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 what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, the blush. Yeah, the blush is um, the blush is on the same layer. She didn't separate it left from right. Again, you don't have to. Again, it just the more it's separated, the more control you have. Now this is interesting. Do you see this? Do you see how the teeth and the mouth are all one layer? Isn't that nuts? But remember the bottom lip and the top lip. But. My teeth are inside here. Yeah. Like I said, you can keep it all in one layer for the mouth if you have a little bit of the limitations, but you know, you're gonna have limitations, that's all. And then the nose is all one layer too. Like it's not separated between the line art and the blush. I hope looking at this model is making you feel a little bit more comfortable because this model is not as separated as much as my new model. Like, are you seeing the differences in the separation? I'm just wondering, you know, like, do you, do you see the differences? <laughs> and then the eyebrows. Now, you would, obviously, I did separate the eyebrows. You need to have the eyebrows separated for a better rig. These are the eye parts, though. And yes, I did separate the left and right of the eye parts um, for it. You have your eye whites. You've got your bottom lashes. And then you have the pupils. Remember how my new model's pupils were separated? This is all one layer. This is all one layer. Like, I don't even have highlights separated on this model. At all. It's all one layer. And then this is the eye folds. And this is the top, the main lash. And then the side lash. And then um, these lashes, which... I separated these left from right, but I didn't separate the little tiny eyelashes. Like I didn't actually separate these further. I kept these all on one layer, but I did separate it left from le left from right. And these are the the ears. These are my little ears. My little ears. But do you see how my ears are one piece too? This could have been separated. Like the back part here could have been separated from the front part, um, if you want like more control. As well as the bangs. The bangs are one piece too. It's not left and right in the middle. Do you see what I mean though? We can move more smooth and naturally flow to the character the more it gets separated. Yeah, this is going to be kept on here. Don't worry. But yes, this model is um, fewer layers. So I did, um, I did separate them from the left and the right. But I didn't do the whole middle or this part here. Like, it was mostly just the eye pieces and then um, making sure the, the, the tails were separated. But yeah. This has much fewer layers. So you can see the difference between all the layers. Like, you can make it as few layers as possible. But again, if you're going to have few layers, you're going to have um, less freedom to have movement, so to say, you know? Oh, goodness. Okay. Okay. Did that all make sense to you? I really hope it did. 
Like, I don't know if I'm able to to do this, to do this. Wait, why? Why do you want me to say that? I'm very confused. Do you have like some like I'm very confused. Is there like a reason why you want me to say that in Japanese? I wonder if I can show you. No, I don't think I can. Unfortunately, I would I would show you a comparison side by side of both models and limitations of movement But I'll include that in like a highlight or something because you've all seen my old videos, you know You know But yeah, that's really all I had for in terms of that I wanted to draw for all of you originally, but my iPad um, My iPad uh, I don't know Let me see. My iPad kind of, um... Eh... Just kidding. It, it didn't actually break, but it was lagging. So, yeah. <laughs> Yay! I'm so glad! I'm so glad. I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm really glad. Oh, Hopper! Oh, my gosh! My, my cat was under the desk the whole time. I'm so sorry, baby! I didn't... I'm sorry, I didn't mean to kick you! I'm so sorry! Come here! Come here, my little handsome man! Come here! Come here. Can you hear him meowing? Come here! Yes, I'm gonna go to bed. Yes, I'm gonna go to bed. But can I just say goodnight to chat? For some of them, you know? Oh yeah, it's probably daytime, so... Ohayou gozaimasu! Or maybe it's afternoon, like, konnichiwa! But if it's nighttime for you, oh yes, Minasai. Yeah, that's my cat hopper. <laughs> yes, this is going to be archived. So if you want to listen back to this again later, you'll be able to. You'll be able to see all the layers and details and stuff. I zoomed in on everything. I will upload a simplified version of this, like a very simplified version where I'm skipping a lot of this stuff. It, like it's probably going to be like 10 minutes long or something. So, but you're not going to get all the details that we went through tonight. Like I'm going to basically just lip gloss all over the stuff and make it very short and sweet um, to get like a gist. But you can rewatch this if you want the full depth of you got to see both of my models and how how much layered and how little layered you can do for this and I hope that makes you feel a little bit more comfortable in terms of starting to do the drawing yourself because there's nothing wrong if you don't have money to commission someone it's okay to draw it yourself it doesn't have to be perfect like I said I'm not perfect I mean yes I am but uh, you know you can't always be perfect like me no I'm just kidding <laughs> I'm kidding I'm kidding I'm kidding I'm kidding <laughs> Tane. <laughs> yes, yeah, so tomorrow um I'm going to be streaming on Twitch. I'm going to be playing Pokemon for the first time. I've never played Pokemon Pearl or Diamond. So for me to play the remakes is very sus, I know, but I'm very excited for it. Okay? I'm very excited. You're more than welcome to come catch me there if you like. I'm going to be streaming on YouTube once a week. And um, it's up to all of you to decide what I stream on here. Um, I primarily was thinking of streaming just video games on Twitch and then keeping this like the more art, live 2D, like educational stuff. But if um, YouTube ends up being a little bit more poppin' and more popular for me, who knows? Maybe I could play games on here sometime. I don't know. I have to think about it a little bit. You have to convince me, basically, because I was really scared to stream today. And um, all of you being here, being so kind and supportive, really opened my eyes on how amazing the YouTube community is. Because I was really scared. I was like really, really scared. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna be streaming early because I don't ha I actually don't have work tomorrow. I know it's nice. So so I'll be streaming um at 4 p.m. PST tomorrow. So. Yeah, 4 p.m. 4 p.m. Yeah, I'm so glad. Thank you so much for tuning in, everyone. I'm sorry if I couldn't answer any everyone's questions. It's just, you know, I ha I was trying to make sure I got through the lesson. Hopper, get off my desk. Don't you dare put your... He just rubbed his head on my... Hello? Excuse you? Just because you're a cat doesn't mean you get a free pass at that. Don't lick me! 
acting like it's apology and not accepted, mister. Don't lick my boba. No, that's my, that's my bubble tea. Get off. He just licked my bubble tea. He licked, he just, he, he stuck his tongue down my straw on my bubble tea. Are you serious? Now if I drink it, now if I drink it, I'm having my cat saliva. That, I, what? What am I supposed to do now? What am I supposed to do? Like, what am I supposed to do with that now? Like, why would you? Hopper! <laughs> Look at this cat, I swear. <laughs> so, I should totally commission my mom to make me a cat plushie. Because I have Momo right here. Wouldn't it be cute if I had Hopper on, like, my other arm or something? Wouldn't that be cute? It costs money, though, okay? Like, so, I would have to save up money, but... That would be really cute. That would be really cute. <laughs> yeah. Well, it looks like I'm gonna have to figure out what's going on with my drink now. Darn it, Hopper. You had to do that. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, you can't have my drink. No, it's my drink. It's my drink. But come on, Mari. It's your bedtime. You're tired. Um, I don't know how much it would cost for the adjustments. Like, um, I already, I've already put in a request. So I'm on a wait list right now. I am currently on a wait list. Because I have other siblings my mom, uh, my art mama draws for. Like, I have Chibidoki. I have, um, um, Pokey Puffs. Um, let's see. We have Kyoto. We have, uh, oh my gosh. I'm trying to, I'm blanking on all of my siblings' names. Like, I have a lot of Japanese siblings, and I'm literally blanking Sayu. I have a lot of siblings from this artist, so I'm in the waiting line right now. Um, and I'm currently waiting in line to get new arms. So, I already know, like, to get new arms. So, you know how in Live 2D you can have full fingy tracking? I'm in line to get full fingy tracking. So she's gonna draw the art for me to have my hands move. And yes, I'm going to rig it here on YouTube and I'm gonna show you how to do full hand tracking live 2D whenever she has the time to draw that. And that's gonna cost me $50. And I would imagine if I requested a cat plushie, it's probably gonna cost another 50 or I don't know how much it's gonna cost, but it would cost more money. But yes, I'll be able to move my fingies completely, like each fingy. So yes, yes. I don't know how to set goals on YouTube. I need to learn more about YouTube. But I have a coffee right here that you can donate to. <laughs> Just saying. Hand check, yes. So, um, yes, I am uh, currently working on that. That is in the ropes and you'll get to see all that here on YouTube. Once a week we will do a stream on here. And I'm going to run a poll every week. My membership is going to start on here, so um, when the membership starts, please, I recommend you might join it because um, you're going to have available exclusivity to videos before anybody else. And I'm going to be doing polls for the members who will get to decide what we get to do next on the stream in terms of like live 2D or, you know, art and stuff like that. So I don't have it up yet because it takes 24 hours to get accepted. So tomorrow you'll be able to join. Tomorrow you'll be able to join. I will teach you all that on here. Eye bounce and everything. All the boing boing bounces and your pupils. All of that. But, okay. Bobas, I'm tired. I need to go to bed. Even your dream girl needs to dream. You ever dream within a dream and then with a dream? You know, it's just never any dream. Yes, I'll be teaching you all that. Oh, yeah. Okay. I need to go to bed now, okay? I'm tired. I have I've been up since five in the morning. <laughs> and I have to get up at five in the morning tomorrow because if I don't, when you have ADHD and you take medication, you'll completely mess up your schedule. So even though I don't have work tomorrow, I'm still getting up at five in the morning. I have to. I I have to. So that way my medicine is um kept on the thinny. But I need to go take my night meds now, okay? So Thank you all so much for being kind to me. My my little ADHD brain. <laughs> You're so nice to me. Uh, okay, everyone. I hope you all have a good night. And feel free to hang out with me on Twitch. Or hang out with me on Discord. <sighs> oh, yeah. See you next night, Bobas. Have a good night and take care. Bye, everybody. Sleep well. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I suckled on your lip. Okay, bye.